came to London to kind of continue the conversation and spread the word around misrepresentation, the documentary I made that explores the underrepresentation of women in positions of power and influence in America and challenges the media's limited portrayal of what it means to be a powerful woman, which is a message that, that um, can be carried around the world. And um, we're here in partnership um, with the Boster Group and the U.S. Embassy and um, various different entities and, and organizations affiliated with WOW. We're shortchanging voices that are urgently needed in public forums from ever getting to the table. I was in the entertainment industry when so many young girls were, were tabloid fodder. And I couldn't imagine raising a daughter in particular in a climate that so demeaned, ridiculed, and objectified women and girls. And so I also then met my husband, who at the time was the mayor of San Francisco, and he had introduced me to, at the time, Senator Hillary Clinton and Senator Dianne Feinstein and Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi. And I noticed a disconnect between the media's representations of women, their misrepresentations, and women in the real world. And I wondered what was going on in the media that continued to perpetuate an unhealthy gender norm and misrepresentation was birthed as a When is it going to be enough? There is no appreciation for women intellectuals. It's all about the body, not about the brain. I would say what's most important to me is that um, young people across the globe recognize their, their power as citizens and as consumers. They don't have to buy into damaging, limiting narratives of what it is to be a girl or what it is to be a boy, what it is to be a woman or what it is to be a man. Just as um, they should celebrate healthy narratives that kind of expand the spectrum of what it is to be a human being. So my message really is use your consumer power celebrate um, healthy media, call out, don't buy, we have a not buying it campaign, unhealthy media, just as you want to celebrate anything, whether it's advertising or products that kind of inspire versus not buying or not consuming those that sort of that demean, degrade, or objectify women and girls or limit the possibilities of what, of what it is to, to just be a human being. The fact that media are so derogatory to the most powerful women in the country, then what does it say about media's ability to take any woman in America seriously? There's so much that, that we as individuals can do and there's so much that we can do collectively. I mean, we're in the the representation project, the organization that, that I founded is really a movement. It's a movement to kind of awaken people's consciousness, shift their behavior and ultimately transform culture. So we've had fathers of daughters who have taken the film and screened it in their company and then worked with the, um, within the corporation to actually shift the culture to be one that's more empowering of women that ensures more women have a seat, not only in leadership and in the C-suite. So in other words, these men are sponsoring women into leadership, but they're also ensuring more women have seats on the corporate board. Just as we have women who have seen the documentary and actually started their own businesses or mentoring organizations to empower women and girls. Just as young girls have seen the documentary and said, oh my gosh, I don't want to be um, a, a statistic that's limited uh, by, by the notion of what it is to be a woman and who actually um, actively either change their major, pursue a career in journalism, write a book, write an op-ed, go into communications, use their voice to tell their story. So there's so much that the individual can do and there's so much collectively that we can do when we actually join forces. And it's really just honestly like, I like to think of it as just all these different voices sort of layered on top of each other, calling out sexism and advertising in the media, celebrating the good media. And ultimately that's how the movement's building. You can't be what you can't see. It's extremely important for women to be writing their own stories and giving them to people to really emotionally become impacted by. The media can be an instrument of change. It can awaken people and change minds. It depends on who's piloting the plane. Keeps beating like a hammer.